They'll be looking for. Oh! oh. He got the tag drop! That's it! This whole fight week in the final two. Oh! Oh! Burns is down here. He took an inside kick on that one. Not 100% sure. He was an inside kick. But his back was to us. We'll have to look at it in the replay. But Dan let him right back up. Didn't want anything to do with the ground. And now he's stuck there. Look at this. That's tight. Look That's at this. Yeah, it's not in here, but that is tight. Yeah. Oh, very nice. And look how quickly he snatched that up. He's letting Gilbert Burns know this is dangerous on the ground, too, friend. <laughs> Hooker's got a very offensive submission game, but you can see he's not going to play around too long on the ground with Mourinho. Under two minutes, or two minutes have gone by, I should say. There's that right knee that he's going to be looking knee. for. He'll be looking for... Oh! He got the tag drop! That's it! The Hangman does it again! Ooh! Hooker did not hear some of the action, Tom. Ooh, big right hand landed. It wasn't an inside kick. He just timed him. And that's because Gilbert Burns is loading his punches so much, Hooker's just able to peek one in there. And as we see here, hook to the body, hook to the head. Finish off Gilbert Burns, put him down with a big punch right here. He hooks to the body, and he eats a right hand and comes back up top with a left to the head. That's textbook body head combination. Left hook to the body, left hook to the head, and it just puts Burns on his butt. How about fighting going backwards, plants, boom! He timed it. The side to side, ducking the head, getting past his jab, was working and effective. Hooker anticipated it. How do you affect it? How do you stop it from happening? Throw a knee right up the middle. Beautiful timing, gorgeous technique from Dan Hooker. 12 months for City Kickboxing and Eugene Behrman. Israel Adesanya emerging to win a world championship. Of course, that... Oh! Vic goes out to parry the hands. He's going to reach here. See him reaching for the hands and throwing a punch at the same time. He just gets caught in the mix. You got to keep your hands glued to your chin or move your head a lot. Here we see again. He's looking for a counter hook. Gets caught with his own hook by Hooker. All of them have been finishes inside the octagon. This straight right there from Dan Hooker. Oh, the big knee and Jim Miller oh. is out. Dan Hooker across the world. Absolutely beautifully timed, right knee straight up the middle. Caught Jim Miller right on the jaw. And unfortunately, this last punch, Dan Hooker's just doing his job, but unnecessary. I wish the ref could have got in there in time to stop it before he even had to eat one extra shot. A little blitz there from Dan Hooker. Ooh, went upstairs. Couldn't quite see the angle on where he hit it, but may have hit right in the face of Mark Adiva there. Going high early with those kicks, John. Hooker. Oh, look at this. He's going for a high elbow guillotine here against the Diva. Diva's in, in trouble. The chin is down, but that is very tight. The Diva's in big time trouble now. He's got the mount. Beautiful transition here from Dan Hooker. And Mark Diva may be going to sleep here. He's going to have to push up on those hips to alleviate the pressure. Yeah, Diva. There's there he is. Dan Hooker with style points here in Brisbane. The long arms of Dan Hooker. Well, you see Mark Diva going for that high single here. And how does he counter it? He says, okay, you can have my leg, but I'm going to grab your neck. And that's exactly what he did. And you see him transition. He went high. He put that left hand in front of the elbow. And from there, it is so difficult to get out. Mark Diva forced to go to his back. Dan Hooker just let his hip settle in and got the tap. You know, he's finished his last seven wins. Make it eight. But he's hurt. And again, Hioki lands to the body. Oh! There's that head kick from Hooker! Hioki's face oh, down! Daniel Hooker! Just like that! He was getting caught. And look at this, right on the neck, right underneath the ear. And Hioki was out. And then because uh, Hooker's throwing one strike at a time, he needs combinations. Good tier team, that's in, that's in, that's in. Look at that, he's There's tapping, he's tapping. Dan wow. Hooker submits Mark Shukasey. Wow. 
It's interesting because in that round, everything really opened up. They were really going after it. It was becoming a slugfest. But look, as soon as Dan gets that left arm under the chin, boy, he, he goes into that power guillotine, and Jacasey's tapping immediately. With those elbows, I was just going to ask yeah. you, how many strikes do you take trying to complete a submission? Seems like too many here. Yeah, absolutely. I think he's got to switch things up here. Oh. It's, it's been about 40 or 50 elbows now. Hooker These are really huge trying right to go after it. Hooker could finish the fight. It is all over. Oakland's own Daniel Hooker. Vicious elbows, Kenny. Yeah, he just stayed calm, and everyone thinks you got to wind up on these elbows, but no, he just went for speed. He went for accuracy. Was going for the same spot again and again. Opened and whistle up. And Ian did such a good job, he was in great position, he just couldn't separate and get space to get that inside heel hook. Hooker made him pay. Boy, when was the last time you saw a guy keep dropping to his knees this way? Kind of crazy. He's trying to do anything to get to the legs of Hooker. He you cannot make Dan grapple with him. It looks more Look like at that. Oh, there it is.